I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us joyce, rejoice and be glad in it. The beauty of the day is not that it is new, but that we are being made new. The glory of the, of the day is not that it marks a change, but that we are being changed day by day by the power and the might of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are welcome to join in and participate in this joyous fellowship. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. How many of you are glad to be in the service? Amen. So we're here last year with God. So we're here one more time. We're going to live to be in the service. Well, if you're glad, join in and help us sing. I'm glad to be in the service. Mm -hmm. Parents, parents, teach 
your children how to sell prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Teach them how to sell a simple prayer in school yeah. to themselves yeah. to keep safe too. Yeah. It's not just the grown folks' responsibility. Yeah. Learn them how to pray. Hello. God and, and all the catastrophes that going on in the world, the fires and everything. We bless all these people, Lord. We, it's just so sad, Lord. But bless them all, all the families, all everybody. And it's not just in one place, it's all over the world. Yeah. You know, when we call COVID, we thought it was just in one area. But God was trying to show us something. It was all over the United States, all everywhere. Yeah. Lord, we just need to pray. Pray and be thankful. Be thankful because God is our source. We pray for our families, Lord. We pray for safety, Lord. We pray that we have the right teaching. And you can know if you got the right teaching by reading the word. The Bible is God's word. We need him. We need him every day. Don't take for granted. Say, say something to the Lord every morning, every night, all during the day. You can just pray while you at work. Ain't nobody got to hear you. God can hear you. We just need to be safe. We need to be prayerful. We need to be joyous and be happy. Don't take each other for granted. Don't take your family for granted. We thank you, Lord, for our families. We thank you for this day. And look, and remember this. We can't even move our little finger without God's help. You ain't doing nothing on your own. God is our provider. He is our source. He is our strength. He is our God. But we need to be here for him too. Right. We need to have faith. And what did he say? You only need faith as little as a mustard seed. You ever seen a mustard seed? That's a tiny little seed. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't ask for much. Amen. But let us give him let us give him more. Yeah. God is a good God. Yes, and I love him. Because he showed me with it in my life. Amen. Even when I was having difficulties, God was there. Yeah. Even in depths and stuff, God is there. And he's been there for all of us. God is good. His mercy is forever. Oh, he said we just need the faith of a mustard seed. Just remember that. And encourage other people. Be loving. He wants us to be loving. And no matter how ugly and how bad we get, God still loves us. And we need to put some love out there too. Don't have favorites. Love us. Love everybody. We all need love. God, I just praise your holy name for just letting us be here today. I love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise your holy name. God, just continue to love us. And I know you will because you said it in your word. You will never forsake us or leave us. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, while we're here, we're going to be leaning on the everlasting arms. So raise your voice and help us sing. Yeah. Leaning on the everlasting arms.
Jesse, come on, clap your hands. Come on, give God a praise. Give Him a praise in this place. For the Lord he is good. His mercy is everlasting. And I believe His truth endures to all generations. Let me say good morning to the church. What a blessing it is to be alive. What an even greater blessing it is to be saved. For the reality of that conviction is we're not smiling on God, but God is richly smiling on us. Amen. Let me hasten to say thank you again for all your calls, emails, text messages, whatever capacity of communication we've experienced together this week. Let me say thank you for it is again. Love is not what it says, but love is what it does. Amen. And I'm thank thankful today that you thought enough of us in the midst of your love that you would think about calling or texting or whatever capacity that we had. And for that, I tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. I do want to say welcome home this morning, amen, to the Friendship Church in Hamilton, Georgia. Come on, give yourself a hand of celebration. It is so good to see so many of you this morning who thought it not robbery to be in the house of worship one more time. You come, many of you from both far and near, and we want to say thank you, and we want to welcome you here again to your home, the Friendship Church in Hamilton, Georgia, where we are again, a family of love united in the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pause real quickly before I move into uh, these pastoral observations. Would all of our visitors please stand? I know this may be your home church, but if you're not a consistent worshiper here, if you would stand today, come on, let's give them a hand of celebration, friendship. Again, we just want to say to you, thank you, and may God bless you, and we pray that heaven will continue to smile upon each and every one of you. Amen. August is here. We're now again at second Sunday in August, which is homecoming of 2023. We'll worship this morning. We'll listen to what God has to say based upon what he's already said. But then tomorrow night, beginning at 7 o'clock p.m., we invite those of you who will be in our area to be a part of our revival 2023 for Monday and Tuesday. Pastor Mark Lawrence will be here. Pastor of uh, 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 Mount Olive Baptist Church in Fort St. Georgia will be present uh, with us and for that I tell the Lord thank you amen so come pray if you're not going to be present pray again because we need to hear a word from the Lord amen when we finish today we invite you to move over to the life center where uh, your lunch dinner brunch has been prepared we want you to take note to that if you would please ma'am please sir listen you never know when it's going to be your last time so our culinary committee has taken it upon themselves again to make sure that you have food to eat and a place to sit to eat it. So if you're not in too much of a hurry, come on fellowship and dine with us, amen. Speak to ones you haven't seen in quite some time. Again, because again, you're here today. But if truth be told, we can be gone this afternoon, amen. And so again, I want all of us to be uh, uh, free to worship, free to praise, free to just do what the Lord has asked of us to do. Now, friendship, real quickly, on the 26th, remember, we'll meet together at the 12 o'clock mark, amen, here in the sanctuary for our church business meeting, so please be present on the 26th at, I think it was, 11 o'clock a.m., so please, ma'am, please, sir, be, be with us. It's either 11 or 12, I'll send that out to you. Be with us as we, again, will help to do and take care of the business of the church, amen. Those of you who are going with us on next Saturday, Sister Fannin has already put together a team of us who will go to the Mount Calvary Prayer Breakfast again. So please be on the lookout for information that I will give to you. I'll send that out as well so you'll be ready to go uh, to, to the Mount Calvary Prayer Breakfast that will be held at the Metropolitan Church uh, next Saturday at 9 o'clock a.m. Amen. And so those of you who are coming, we invite, listen, all of you for our Christmas gala in December. If you want to be a part of our Christmas gala in December, don't forget to pay, amen, before the deadline is in October so that we can get you registered and get you accounted for, amen. And we will set aside time to fellowship in the midst of the Christmas season, amen. Listen, there are more announcements that need to come, but again, I pray that you would hear these that are pressing, and then again, I would that you govern yourselves accordingly. We'll send those emails out, those text messages out, and I pray that you would again send those and distribute those to your circles of influences, amen, that all of us may be where the Lord would have us to be, amen. Again, we say thank you to each and every one of you this morning. I say again, we welcome you home to the Friendship Church because, again, God is still good. Yeah. 
Let me try it again. I said, for again, God is still good. And I believe because he is, ain't nothing going to happen until the Lord gets ready. Amen. We'll say more about this, but I want you to be in prayer for our very own. Again, I want you to be in prayer for uh, the Central Baptist Church, Pastor Joseph McKelton. If you will be in prayer for him, our very own, Sister Aline Williams. Amen. Amen, Sister Al. He, he just texted me. Amen. Uh, Sister Aline Williams went home to be uh, with the Lord. Now, Aline Williams, her daughter, went home to be uh, with the Lord. Amen. Pastor McKelton wants me to call him immediately, so I'm going to give him a call in just a moment. Amen. But I want you to be in prayer uh, with him. Amen. Because, again, we know it's their time today, but it's our time is surely coming to pass. So let's be in prayer. Uh, for that family, the McKelton family, I own her daughter, uh, Sister Aline Williams, amen. And we know God is too wise of a God to make no mistake, amen. So let's keep praying that God will again show us that he's still the God of both heaven and of earth. So again, may God be the glory for the great things he has done, he is doing, and I believe by faith all that he shall do. Now, we're going to fellowship in just a moment, but do me a favor. If you just wave at somebody across the sanctuary, look at them, let them know, smile at them, amen. Let them know that God is still on the throne, amen. And because he is, ain't nothing going to happen until the Lord gets ready. Listen, this transition is giving time in the sanctuary, a good time to give. But we believe here at the Friendship Church, God loves a what? God loves a cheerful giver. And I believe the more you give, the more God will indeed give unto you. Can I get four ladies to come? Again, this is the second Sunday. Our ladies move by way of holding our baskets on the second Sunday. And so can I get four ladies to come real quickly, please? It does not matter where you are. Come if you would hold our baskets. Amen. As we're preparing now to give unto God, as God has so richly uh, given unto us. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on, ladies. I don't have ladies moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. I got two. I need two more. I need two more. Come on. Come on. I need two more ladies. Amen. I need one more lady. I see one moving. I need one more. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, Deacon Fanny, you want to hold that basket. I know you're not a lady, but you don't have to hold that basket. If I can't get another lady to come, listen, on the outside baskets, therefore, our general tithe and public offering, if you would, as we're coming, if you would just drop your gifts into those baskets. Again, the black basket that Ms. Moore is holding is for, again, our benevolent fund. If you would just drop in that, what you would have to give. And then Deacon Fanny has a basket in his hand that's for our building fund. If you would just drop in that basket. And again, we're going to ask the Lord to give amen us the opportunity to bless him as he indeed has so richly blessed us come on let's pray our father and our god we thank you now for the time and the to share thank you for the moment of gift giving i pray here that none would suffer because of their giving but i pray that you'll return replenish and restore unto them that which they rendered unto you in the name of your son jesus christ we pray and every heart that agreed said amen let's do it like this those of you in the middle center aisle if you are standing you will come now and Offering unto our God, those in the middle center aisles, likewise on my left, those of you in the middle center aisles, if you would stand and come bring your gifts unto our God.
somebody might just not be feeling good this morning. But I stopped by to let you know that God is. He's a comforter. Ah, uh, he'll stop by your house and he'll rub your head. Ah, uh, and he'll soothe your heart. Somebody here might be sick this morning. And you ain't told nobody. But I stopped by to let you know that God is still a doctor in a sick room. God will. He will come and see about you. If you pray and ask him and ask him honestly. God will. He'll come and see about you. I know what I'm talking about because he's been down my road. Ain't the Lord all right? You've been good, Jesus. And you've kept us a long time. And we thank you, Jesus. We stop praying this morning for the sick, wherever they may be. Father, we know that you can move all, all over the world. And we come this morning praying for those in our life that lost everything. Father, we're still here, but we're praying for them. It's not good to wake up in the morning and don't have nothing. We thank you, Jesus. I woke up this morning and I had food to go on my table. And when I looked around in my room, my family was doing well. And Lord, I thank you. You've been good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Not only me, but you've been good to somebody else in here. They might not be willing to say it, but somebody ought to shout out, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying for the Marie family this morning. We're praying for folks all over the world. And each person that's gathered around this altar, we don't know what you need. Somebody need you for one thing. But somebody need you for another. Whatever it is, Jesus, fix it for us. Like we know you can. Fix it, Jesus. We put it in your hand. Thank you. We pray for this offering. We lift it up to you. Father, we pray for the preacher. Let him preach from all high to school. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all to touch somebody. Y'all to just touch somebody this morning. And tell the Lord I'm praying for this person that I'm touching. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what he or she needs, but I know that you are. You are. I'm praying here, God. Here, I'm praying this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All these blessings we ask in your son, Jesus' name. Church, say amen.
trustworthy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I'm inconsistent, he's consistent. Yes, he is. When I'm not faithful, he's yet faithful. Yes, faithful.
give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, you know he is. Anybody know he's not just a word, but how many of y'all know he's the living word? Anybody glad that he lives on the inside of you? And for that, you can tell the Lord what? Thank you, amen. Grace and peace again be multiplied to each of you from God our Father, his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and from the Holy Spirit, I believe, who's both our comforter and our God. Listen, God is still good to us. And because he is, I believe ain't nothing going to happen until the Lord gets ready. Amen. Listen, it's homecoming 2023. Big meet Sunday, we call it. And so it is. It's now the time that we move towards our moments of fellowship. And we want everybody to get up and greet one another. I know if you do not feel comfortable, then this is not for you. But those of us who feel comfortable enough to either shake, fist bump, or give an elbow, I want you to move around the altar, move around the sanctuary, and I want you to greet one another. Amen. Some you've seen in the uh, past few months, some you haven't seen since this time last year or even a few years. And so we want everybody to feel welcome as we get ready to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. Because the reality is, again, I said all the time, you never know when it's going to be your last time. Amen. People who got up this morning will go to sleep for the last time this evening. But I'm grateful God is still on the throne. And because he is, I know nothing's going to happen until the Lord gets ready. Listen, you got a friend in me. And so again, I thank God we can turn that frown upside down. So get up wherever you are. Let's move across the sanctuary. Move across the building. Greet to somebody as we prepare to hear a word from the Lord. You got a friend? Thank you. 
When I think about this song, I'm grateful because what the song suggests to the believer is that God does not call to everybody. But what the song suggests is God calls anybody who will believe that he is God and God all by himself. And that's why I thank God we come today to celebrate God in the form of his son, Jesus Christ, in aid and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the reality is the resume of God says that he is a faithful God. And I believe this morning I got some people at 101 Friendship Street that ain't scared, that ain't ashamed to testify that you don't serve a dead God, but you serve a God that is alive and well. Do I have anybody? in the building today that want to give the testimony that yes, yeah, they I serve a God that sits up high and looks way down on the Lord. Is there anybody in the building that want to give the testimony today that I know him and better yet, he knows me in the free part of my sin and for that I have to tell the Lord thank you. Well, that don't mean anything to you today. The reason I believe some of you say he's a faithful God is simply because late last night he let you lay down in the rockings of your own bed. All night long he let you talk and turn. But you testify that he's a faithful God because early this morning, are y'all going to help me preach in here? He woke me up and he started me on my way. Is there anybody in the building thank God that he's not just any kind of God? But let me see by the elevation of your hands. Is there anybody in here know that he is a faithful God? That's why I believe the songwriter suggests to the believer that if he's going to be a faithful God in your life, then what you must understand is that you have to both praise and worship him. When I think about the words praise, I must understand I got to give God adoration and glory. When I think about the word worship, I have to give God what he's a word to me. And that means to me that if God is worth anything in my life, then here it is, I'm going to worship and praise his name. That's why I tell those who are consistent and worship us here at the Friendship Street. Listen, if God has been good to anybody in this building, you don't have to wait for somebody to pump you, pine you, or push you, but you can just stand still and look back over your life and see how good God has been to you. Let me stop there. Does anybody in the building know God has been good to you? Is there anybody on my right this morning that know he's a faithful God because God has been good to me? Is there anybody on my left that ain't scared to testify to the people God for God because he's been good to me when I look back over my life and see what God has brought me from. I can't help but to do what tell the Lord. Thank you. That's why I'm verse 1 through 4. It talks about the beginnings of the worship experience. In verse 1, it talks about, here it is, it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Verse number 2 says, serve the Lord with gladness. Verse number 3 says, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made you, not you, yourself. Verse 4 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. In verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, it talks about the praises and the worshiping of God. But I got out of my seat today because I wanted to hang my hat not just in verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, but in verse number 5. I had to shout, Lord, I just got to thank you. Do I have any help in here? Because I know trouble is on every hand. I know trouble is all around us. Every time I would do good, here it is evil is ever present. Here it is trouble is everywhere. But here it is, I thank God that even when trouble is everywhere, there's a verse 5 in my life. Can I tell you what verse 5 says for those of you who had not pointed that look at it. It's on the screen. Here it is. Verse 5 says uh, he's a faithful God. Why? Because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures for all generations. I've got a couple of extras I want to give you and I promise you I'll be back in my seat. Here is the reason I believe God is a faithful God. It's simply because he stands on his goodness. Are y'all living here with me? Look at the text, verse 5. Here it is. You can see the text says, For the Lord is good. When you look at the word is, here it is. The word is says, it talks about what he's doing right now. It ain't just the fact that God was good yesterday. It ain't the fact that God is going to be good tomorrow. The isness of the truth says today that God is good right now. And I believe I got some people in this building today that's been sick in your life, but you can testify God was still good. I got some people in the building that's been broken this world, but you can testify God is still good. I believe I got some people who've almost lost their mind, but here it is. Your testimony is 
God is still good. I can stand on the goodness of the Almighty God. Why can you stand on the goodness of God? Because here it is in the foundation of who he is. The attributes of God says he cannot be no other way. Are y'all in here with me today? Here's what I like about verse 5. The reason why I know that in his attributes he cannot be any kind of way because he is God that neither slumbers nor sleeps. He's a good God. He's a God that neither will lie to me. He's one I can trust. He is a good God. Matter of fact, the reason I can stand on the goodness of God is simply because when I get all by myself and everybody has walked off and left me, can I tell you he's still a good God? Because here it is, I can find a friend in his son Jesus. I wish I had some people in here over 65 that are testify what a friend I got in Jesus. All my sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry. Here it is not some things, not a few things. But how many of y'all know because God is faithful, I can stand on his goodness and take everything to God in prayer. I just don't, I just don't want to hear this. I just don't want to worship God. I just don't want to praise God. But here it is. I want to talk about he is a faithful God. Do I have to help here? Because here it is. I almost gave up. But God came to see about me. I'm not the only one in this building this morning who's almost threw in the towel. But here it is. You got to tell the Lord, Lord, thank you. Because when I fail, you pick me up. Can I just ask a question in here? Is there anybody here thank God God picked you up? I wish I had some people in the building know that God did not just pick me up, but how many of y'all know he turned you around? I wish I would talk back to the preacher. He didn't just pick me up, he didn't just turn me around, but how many of y'all think God, he planted your seat on solid ground? Is there anybody in the building that can tell God, thank you, because here it is, I can stand on the goodness of God. Here it is. Here it is, says, for the Lord is what? Good. Here it is. You look at the attributes. Here it is. He can't be any kind of way. He's a loving God. He's a gentle God. He's a generous God. But then he's a faithful God. That's what I want to suggest to those of you who are listening to my voice this morning. Listen, if God never does anything else for you in your life, you better know God is still God. And God all by himself. Are y'all listening to me? If God never takes you another step in your life, I dare you to lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. Why? Because how many of y'all know he will direct your path? Here it is. The Lord is good. Here it is. I thank God he's good because of who he really is. Now, I want you to understand. Here it is. On the goodness of God. But here it is. Secondly, shout back with me. Number two. I can situate myself in the mercies of God. I wish y'all would talk back to me in this building. The text says in verses 1 through 4, they are praising God simply because of who he is. But verse 5 says, not only did they praise God because of who he is, they were able to stand on the goodness of God. Are y'all in here with me? But here it is, I got happy right along in here. Because here it is, not only am I standing on the goodness of God, but every now and then, here it is, beloved, I can situate myself in the mercies of God. How do you know the core you did the taxes for the Lord is good? But it's mercy. I wish I had a witness in here. But it's mercy. Y'all still ain't caught on yet. Let me try it again. But it is mercy. Somebody back long in there, y'all looking at the front and let me try it again. But it is mercy. Can anybody over here thank God for his mercy? He, 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 I think about situating myself in the midst of his mercy because watch this. What his mercy does, it calls between me and his wrath. Let me see if I can help you this way. Here it is. All of us should have been somewhere dead, sleeping in our grave. Are y'all in here with me? But it's mercy. Let me see if I can try to be this way. All of us should have almost lost our minds, but it's mercy. Do I have any help in here? Let me see if I can try it this way. When we got to the bank and the bank had no money and we almost gave up, well, here it is. We should have thrown in the towel. But how many of y'all think God? Oh, his mercy. Are y'all in here with me? 
here and while I like about his mercy. I know some of y'all ain't saying nothing, but here it is. I like about his mercy. Watch this. His mercy ain't temporary. Are y'all gonna hear me? The, the text says he has a longevity of mercy. How, how do you know his mercy is longevity, Pastor Day? Because the text says, for his mercy is what? Everlasting. And I wish I could have some people in the building that would testify. They, I thank God that I can situate myself in the midst of his mercy because here it is. When I almost threw in the tower, gave up and lost my mind, I thank God his mercy came to shield out me. And I wonder if they do. I got about 20 of y'all in here who ain't scared, who ain't ashamed to look about who's looking at you, talking about you, but you want to just tell God thank you for his mercy. If there are about 20 of y'all in here who can look back over your life and just say, Lord, Truth of God. 
is the truth. Are y'all in here with me? And I'm glad this morning I can be made better by the truth. Are y'all in here with me? That's why I like to read the text here. It is the truth may not set you free, but the Bible says the truth will make you free. Are y'all in here with me? The reason I'm grateful that they because of what the text says, the text says here it is, he's a faithful God because his truth endureth until what all generations. Here it is, when I looked at the word endure, it is the word now that brings about, first of all, the truth of God's salvation has, what I believe, a, a strong foundation on my life. Are y'all in here with me? When you look at something that's endured or something that's able to endure, that means it has a strong foundation. Are y'all in here with me? That, that's why I tell you all the time, you can't seek yourself in things that don't have a good, strong foundation. You, you can't build your house on sand because sand will fall in. You can't build your house on straw because straw will cave in. But can I tell you what you can build on? You can build your house on a solid foundation. I hear you asking them, who is on it is my solid foundation. The salvation of his word says uh, his name is Jesus Christ. And I wonder if he, is there anybody in here know that Jesus Christ is uh, the truth of God's word. How you know he's the truth? Take care of what's this and his what truth? Endures to all generations. He's the truth of his word. Why? Because didn't you hear Jesus say, I am? I, am. I wish I had some Bible readers in here. Didn't you hear Jesus say, I am? I am. The, way, the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. And I just pick it back right now for those of you who have the mentality that you can bypass Jesus Christ. Then here it is, the Bible says, if you're going to see the Father, you got to see his Son. And not only are you going to see his Son, but here it is, you got to believe that his Son was born of a virgin named Mary, baptized in the Jordan, healed the sick, raised the dead. But here it is, one Friday evening. I am in a Baptist church, am I? One Friday evening. Here and there, he hung his head and locks on his shoulder. He died, but here it is. He didn't stay dead. Watch this. The salvation of God's word said, I got to get out of here. One Sunday morning. You didn't know he got up? Not with some power. But he got up with all power in his hand. And so that's why I want to suggest to every believer in here, yes, go ahead. And stand on his goodness. Yeah. Go ahead and situate yourself in his mercies. Yeah. But don't you get out of here today until you understand the salvation work yeah. that endures for life. Yeah. The text says to all generations. Yeah. And that's why I thank God for the writing of this text because the reality is what the writer says to every believer. It's not enough just to worship God in verses 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But he says, if you're going to worship God, you got to worship him. Here it is, in spirit and in truth. Why? Because the reality is there's some rocks that are waiting to trade places with you. But the reality is, because God has been a faithful God, then you're not going to let no rocks cry out in your place. Have I got to help you? The reason I thank God for what God has done in my life is simply because I have to tell the Lord, thank you because it was nobody above the Almighty God. Have I got to help you? Somebody in the building today has to understand what the text says in terms between one and four. I'm not only to I enter into his gates with praise. I'm not only do I know that the Lord, He is God. I'm not only do I serve the Lord with gladness. I'm not only do I make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Have I got to help in here? But I hand now to display the badge of the Almighty God. I went in the badge day. The badge ends. I ain't gonna in verse number five. I get a witness to be him in verse 5. The badge of the faithfulness of God says for the Lord is good. Have a 
heavenly weapon in here. In motion, he is by everlasting. This room, it put to all generations. A good morning to the Friendship Church. I thank y'all for letting me stop by. And I stop by on my way to glory to justify God. It's still worthy to be praised. Are y'all in here with me? I'm so thankful. Every day of my life, I can lift up my voice and tell the Lord, thank you. And when they help in here, I'm so glad I can wave my hand and shout hallelujah. And I got me help in here. I win things for getting the fall in my life. I win things again to get tumbled up in truth. And I got me help in here. I can fall on my knees and tell my God about it. I've got me help in here. When you sing, will you tell God about it? I tell God, I've hung all the way. I've got me help in here. Why you having your other way? I want to give the testament for the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth and word to all generations. I've got me help in here. i got all my sin to talk about who he is. I've got me help in here. Anybody in here? I want him to 
good day for you. Anybody in here want to turn your midnight into midday? Say it. Say it.
Anybody thank God he's still faithful? All right, to your Lucy, we're praying for again. Thank God for Henry Mac Hudson. Y'all give him a hand. A celebration. Sick and mighty Hudson. Make him look pretty good. Y'all give him a hand of celebration. Thank God for all of y'all in here for being present this morning. Join us in the Life Center as we seek together to fellowship one with another. Amen. Amen. Again, may God bless you. And may God keep you, and may heaven smile upon you. Our Father, we thank you now for the time that has been ours to share. God, God, we thank you for the moments of worship in this place. Now, God, I pray that whatever we've done in this place be pleasing in your sight. Big meet Sunday, but God, help us to understand that our meeting is not in vain. God, as we come down from this place in preparation for revival on Monday and Tuesday, I pray, God, that you would again be in our midst. I pray that you would again speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, that we could come away saying it was good to be in the presence of the Lord. We're praying for revival. We're praying for the pastor, the preacher, Mark Lawrence, crown his head with wisdom and knowledge that only you can give. And God will be so very careful to forever give your main praise, honor, and glory. As you did last night, watch over us this night. As you did this morning, wake us in the morning. And as you did today, help us to say on tomorrow, we thank you, sir. Now God, I pray to bless the food, allow it to be good for the nourishing of our physical bodies. It is in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may the rest room in the Bible, please thy people, hence now and forevermore. And the saints of God agree by saying, Amen. 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 Go in peace. A family of love.